We're making vanilla honey today and we've just extracted four and a half or five frames of fully capped honey, taking it through the one sieve process and put it into this bucket. So this bucket now contains a gallon of honey and it's a gallon that we're going to convert by infusing vanilla into it. And we'll take you through the process of what we do. To make our vanilla honey, we're going to use Grade A Madagascan Bourbon Vanilla Pods. And we will use about between eight and 10 to convert the honey uh, to infuse it with vanilla. We use the best vanilla pods that we can possibly find as they give the strongest and the most delicious flavour. So we have our vanilla pod on the board. We have to now get the, out the seeds and we cut down the middle, middle of the pod like this, right the way through so we can open the pod up and then in the pod you'll see all the seeds. And from there we just get the back of the knife and we scrape down all along the pod like that to get out the seed. And that seed will then go into the honey. And we're going to do exactly the same with all of them. And now we're going to put the pod as well into the honey and we will then stir it around when we've got all the other pods in there. Now that we have all the vanilla pods and the vanilla seeds in the honey we're going to give it a good stir to give it a mix, get it all mixed up and then we will stir it every day for the next two or three weeks to make sure that it is completely infused into the honey itself. To make the infused cinnamon honey, we're going to use the very best Ceylon cinnamon sticks. And the process basically is that we take the sticks and we grind them in a pestle and mortar and then add them to the honey. And just like the vanilla honey, we put them in there for about a month, stirring on a daily basis to get the infusion. So we've ground down about 16 of these Ceylon cinnamon sticks. Now the reason we need to use so many is that unlike most honeys that are infused, a heat process is used which obviously then destroys all the goodness of the honey. We do not heat any of our honey at all and as a consequence we put twice as much cinnamon into the honey and then that will then impart a fantastic flavour into the honey. So there we've mixed it all in now. And now we leave it and we put the lid on. And then tomorrow we will come back again and give it a stir for about five minutes. Well now a month has elapsed and every day I've been stirring the cinnamon honey and the flavours now from the cinnamon have passed into the honey and it's now time for us to filter out all the particles. So here we go, we're now going to pour the honey and put it just through the filter and this will take about 24 hours This is the next day now and all the honey has strained through the sieve and through the cinnamon and all that we've got left here are just the particles of cinnamon which will now go in into the waste. And then if I just lift up the sieve you can just see inside the drum that we have the cinnamon honey already and our next job will be to seed that honey to make it a soft set.
So here is the seeded honey that we put in the fridge about two weeks ago and it is now ready and it is soft set and we're going to put all of this into this container and it's based on a 1 to 10 principle that by mixing the seeded honey in there to the cinnamon honey within two weeks time it will have seeded all the honey in here. So we have to mix it thoroughly and then jar it up straight away so that it can then soft set in the jars ready for you. Now it's all mixed in and ready we're going to start bottling the honey up and we do a first jar as a starter and we check with the scales to make sure that we are exactly at the weight we should be. Here is the first jar of cinnamon honey. What a lovely colour. So first of all we need to make sure we have the tear correct by placing an empty jar on there, letting the scale settle, then pressing the tear button to bring it back to zero. And now we can check our jar, and this is done in um, ounces. And it reads as you can see, 8.75 ounces, and the minimum requirement for the jar is 8 ounces. So we are well over, and that's what we'll be filling the jars to. Well, we've now finished, put a cap on, kept it cool for a couple of weeks, and it's now become a soft set. And this is the finished result for the cinnamon, which looks really lovely. And we've done exactly the same to the vanilla on the right hand side, kept it for two weeks and just labelled it up and there it's ready for eating. And then the, the middle one is the ginger, which will be runny. So that's it, we've made our three honeys for this year, cinnamon, ginger and vanilla.